up guys is typed on here i hope you guys enjoyed some of those clips i just wanted to get a few clips posted before i hit 40 because as you guys know pretty much everybody has been dungeon grinding and since i was in dungeons and i've been raiding like bfd for xp i decided to just go resto because i also was healing here and there so i found that it was actually really good for tanking and just world pvp having healing focus ancestral healing especially nature swiftness has been very nice and fun for tanking healing and just world pvp and then a guy in my comment section frank shout out to him he was telling me about a build where you just grab shield specialization improve ghost wolf and you can have nature swiftness so by 37 you can have this build and then this is really nice if you want to just play resto whenever you get to 40 you can have the mobility of uh, improved ghost whip plus shield specialization and you can have ns plus other utility talents so the build i gave in my phase two guide i think that's still good like that deep enhancement best for like if you're solo leveling but if you're not solo leveling i think going to like a deep resto is really nice but also if you're going to be dpsing in dungeons then that build i gave is still really good especially especially with the improved flurry talent the only thing is right now, a lot of people aren't really taking Shaman DPS. Like, you can still get groups, but I found that a lot of people prefer, like, mages. <laughs> That's pretty much it, mages. <laughs> so, um, tanking is very nice to get groups and healing. I found those were the easiest to get groups. And I'll also post, like, a little just showing some of my dungeon highlights and how I was able to just kind of effectively level I haven't been able to play too too much due to school and work so whenever i do hop on i try to just dungeon grind as much as possible and then kind of world pvp here and there so i'm almost level 40 i got some upgrades from scarlet monastery hypnotic blade uh scarlet commander shield and i also got mograine's might i definitely will be trying out um enhancement shaman now that we have decoy grenade decoy grenade decoy totem which is basically our freedom that helps enhancement shaman's flaws uh, so now with that I, I feel like it'll be very fun i have been hearing that priests druids and rogues are extremely overpowered i'm not too too worried about that because they should be getting nerfed just like blizzard nerfed uh hunters in phase one so hopefully i can display how fun and great elemental shaman is which i feel like it still should be i know we're not going to be as strong as other classes but I feel like that's another joy in playing shaman we're kind of like sometimes looked upon as the underdogs people you either think shamans are weak or too overpowered which is really funny in my opinion i feel like they're not too overpowered if you know how to play against them but obviously it's like any class if you let a class free cast on you or something they're gonna seem overpowered so i don't know i don't think shaman is that overpowered but it's very satisfying to play but anyways guys like and subscribe if you enjoyed this Catch me over on Twitch. I've been streaming a little bit here and there whenever I have time. So drop a follow if you can. I would greatly appreciate that. And I'll catch you guys later.